driving into New England National Park. A lot of rain, a lot of low cloud. Let's get in there and see what it's like. Oh, g'day guys. Welcome to a wet one. Uh, she's um, coming down slowly and quite steady. So I've um, taken shelter under this, uh, this rock here. And I'm in the, she's coming down now. I'm in the uh, New England, New England National Park here on the New South Wales Tablelands. Um, I was gonna do a few walks today, but I, I think I'll uh, can those. Um, I'm here by myself and some of them are four or five K down into the valley here and I'm by myself so it might be a bit sketchy. Plus all my vlogging gear and camera, I don't want to really get wet. So I'll just follow the sealed path here. See if I can get some low clouds, some interesting shots of the path with some cool gnarly trees. Yeah, um, quite a significant area too for the local Aboriginal men. Um, sheltering under this rock, maybe they did uh, centuries ago. This is actually um, men's business only, this area. So that means um, only the men could come in here and they'd come in here and probably make a campfire and talk about you know, men's business. Maybe all the women back in camp have a have a bit of a um, whinge about them I guess or talk about hunting techniques or whatever but yeah women of the local mobs and indigenous people aren't allowed in here so yeah, pretty special place, pretty sacred. Anyway, I'm gonna wait for this rain to lift and then I'm gonna go find some compositions along the track here. So yeah, and then after that, I'm gonna go shoot a waterfall. So stick around, we'll uh, catch some uh, low cloud with some trees and we'll go shoot a waterfall. All right, let's wait for the rain to stop. <laughs> Come along the path here. Uh, one of the many paths. I don't think I'm going to do the main walk down into the valley there. It's um, had a lot of rain in the last 12 hours and I'm here by myself so I don't, don't want to risk slipping over or, or uh, doing something stupid. But uh, look at these scenes along the path here, this low cloud after all the rain. And um, just set my camera up here, pretty simple composition back here. Got this um, gum, it's either a snow gum I think. There's a lot of snow gums around here. And all these other twisted trees leading you sort of this enchanted uh, image up through the the path here um, looks looks really good on the back of the camera I'm at uh there's no wind in here at all there was a bit before but it picked up and I think it's blown most of that rain out of here just left the low cloud ISO 200 f10 and I'm at a, a, a second shutter speed um, just because it is quite dark in here though you might not be able to pick it up yeah, so this gum tree here is in my frame to the left hand side and then it's framed off with these other uh, twisted gnarly trees here and then the path leading you back up through the, the mist and if I turn around behind me here I might get another image facing this way there's a huge um, fern there uh, and it leads you around the corner there so I'm going to take the shot I've got no uh, filters, no polarizers, don't need anything on. Uh, lots of raindrops on my camera, like it's weather sealed. Yeah, so 
focusing on um, just past this, focused in just on past this tree here. Where am I there? And um, yeah, I'll fire off the shot. Chuck it up, let me know what you think. Then I might spin around here. And now uh, see if I can get another image down this this way, this path. There's all these really gnarly twisted trees in here. Looks really cool with a little low cloud. Anyway, I'm gonna chuck this shot up. Let me know what you think and I'll move on. <laughs> Alright, I'm absolutely drenched to the bone. I'm walking in this ancient Gondwana rainforest. Uh, come back off the top up there where I was doing some low cloud tree shot. And I wasn't going to come in here. Because um, I am by myself, it's raining. A uh, little bit sketchy to do it by yourself. But... I did come all this way. I drove a uh, long way to come to this national park and I really want this waterfall down here, Cascades Walk. Uh, it's 2.k walk, this little circuit, but I had to follow a fire, a fire trail. I had to fire, follow a fire, fire trail. I had to get to this circuit. Look at this, would ya? Oh my god, I'm at home in here. Um, definitely coming back here. It's gorgeous. It's lush, it's green. I actually just saw back on there. Path back there was a lyrebird. I got my camera out again, tried to get it for you guys. But, disappeared. Um, there's so many uh, images to have in here. If you really took your time, look back up in there. Ooh. I might have to take a shot. I've got to walk back up that hill. I'm not too happy about Um Anyway, let's find this waterfall and um, try not to roll our ankle while we're in. Try not to roll our ankle while we're in here because that would be devastating. But yeah, we'll push on to this waterfall. Waterfall. See that? Nearly rolled my ankle. Got to stop talking and walking down this slippery track. All right. made it Whew. sweating now even though I'm drenched to the bone it was worth the effort I'm gonna set up um, where are we I'm gonna set up on the rocks down here and then shoot back up onto this waterfall I only brought one tripod on so I'll have to hand, hand hold my um, vlogging camera and just sit up on the rocks here like I said I'm going to get wet by the looks of it, but never mind. Well worth the walk. It is like uh, Jurassic Park in here. I'm not kidding you. Just waiting for that old T-Rex to pop his head out of these uh, ferns in the, behind me here. All right. Spectacular. Let's uh, set up and get a shot of this waterfall. So I set my camera up. I'm balancing us on some rocks here, so I can't really vlog and show you at the same time. Um... But yeah, I'm doing a portrait. Got a rock in the foreground. I haven't got the neutral uh, polarizer on, neutral density polarizer on. I think I like the glare on the rocks, to be honest with you. But uh, I'll play around with that. Anyway, I'm doing one portrait and then I'm doing a portrait pano because there's some really nice um, ferns over this side of the image. And I'm sort of uh, doing a whole pano shot here. Uh, the four shot pano. Uh, I'm at one second, ISO 100, F10, and yeah, I'll chuck both up, the single pano and the, sorry, the single image and the pano, you let me know which one works best. Alright, cheers. Oh, 
along the track here, just image after image. I put my camera away. Um, and I got it out again and I've left it out. So I thought, you know, I'm here, bugger it. This road leading up to that low cloud back in there. You got these beech trees. Ah, uh, three of them left. Sorry, right, left, right. And I've got this on my right frame, this one. And then balanced out with that one, then that one. And then leading you down the path to the uh, low cloud. Back up in there. I could spend all day in here, but I can't because I need to get a move on. <laughs> I'm going to be late for lunch. Never mind. So, um, F13, I say 125 and one one hundredths of a second. A uh, little bit of wind in here. It's not too bad. Comes and goes. Uh, everywhere I look, I'll put you up. You can't quite see all that. So it's got like moss hanging off it. Then if we, um, still getting used to this, back up in here, you can see all those trees. So yeah, I'll fire this shot off. Keep my camera out, because I might get another image. Look at that. And I'll chuck this one up. And I might move to another waterfall, Eber Falls. Um, don't know if I'll get all in this vlog, or we can make two parts, but hang around for that. It's not an epic walk. You, It's a great waterfall. You just pull up, step out, and there's a lookout platform, and she's right there. This image is coming up right now. Let me know what you think. I might find another one and another one, but yeah, stick around and we'll carry on up the path here. Okay guys, I'm going to call it a, a day on uh, today's adventure. This is a two-part um, series, um, so be sh sure to join me next week. Um, and my adventures through the New South Wales Tablelands, um, national parks, rainforests, waterfall chasing, and I'll show you my awesome uh, camping rig here, this setup, this tent on the back of my car or ute. Um, yeah, so so I hit like and subscribe, and um, I'll see you next week. We'll continue this adventure. Till then, peace out, cheers, have a good day, guys.